let's take a look at our problem of the day. It says we're going to solve for x in the equation. And the equation looks kind of lengthy. We got 5 times, and in the parentheses, we got 4 minus 2x minus another parenthesis with 5x minus 5 in it. And then finally, it just equals out to a simple old integer value of 10. So let's see where this is going to take us. We've got 5 times 4 minus 2x. Again, minus in the parentheses. Gets you a chance to write this down at home if you haven't already worked through it off Facebook. Equaling to 10. Now, where we are on this problem, where we are, we basically want to see what number is going to unlock this craziness. In other words, we want to put a number everywhere we see x, the same number that will give us a result of 10 when we put it in over here. So let's work it through. We're going to do a little mathematics and do some magic with it, all sorts of good things. Let's see where it goes. First of all, distributive property, come along, my friend. Let's do it right here. We're going to take the 5 and we're going to multiply it through with the 4 minus 2x. Very important. And it's, what's, it, what's really important, let me just caution you when we work through a problem like this. A lot of times we get excited and we say 5 times 4 and then we go over here and do 5 times 5 or something like that. Don't do that. This 5 goes with this parenthesis, but you've got to get everything inside. Got to hit everything inside. So let's pick up a 20. Let's pick up a minus 10x. We're going to, oh, you said, what are we going to do with the next parenthesis? Well, we've got another number here. We put a 1 in there just in case you want to see it. You don't have to have it there. But understand, it is a negative 1, and we're going to distribute that once again. So this is a lot of distributive property. Watch your numbers. Watch your signs. Two things, two important things. When we work through a math line equation or any kind of equations out there, that's what we're worrying about. So let's do it here. Let's put a minus 5x. That part you everybody said, I saw that one coming. There was a not negative in front of the parenthesis. But what we got to watch out here for is we're going to say a negative times a negative, and it gives us a, you got it, positive. So positive 5, here we go, equaling to 10. Life looks pretty good now. The parentheses are gone. Sometimes parentheses get us a little all excited and stuff. Math just gets me excited, right? Now, let's put this thing together. We've got 20 and 5, which looks like a like term business to me. Now, watch out. That negative does not go with the 20, all right? So it's not 20 minus 5. That's just simply a positive 20, a positive 5. We're going to get 25. We'll put that down in just a second. Over here, however, I have a negative 10. Yep, now that's where the minus goes. Make that a negative 10 and a negative 5. Putting it together, I'm seeing negative 15 with an X attached. Don't change the x, just leave it alone. And bring that 25 that we talked about so nicely. These two go together. Notice I didn't include that minus with that. Right there, just like those two little guys go together. And on the other side, I have a 10. Don't do anything with a 10. It's in good shape. It's happy. We're happy. All happy, all right? Now, time to move some things. Because remember, we want to get x by its lonesome, by itself. So we're going to subtract. Uh-huh. I'm going to subtract 25 from the left side, and if we do it, we've got to do it to the right hand, right? Whatever we do to the left, got to do it to the right. That's what we call subtraction property. The equality simply says, do the same thing to both sides. Whenever you do one thing, you have to do it to the other. I have a negative 15 as a result of 10 minus 25. We're in the hole there. But what we're going to do now is now it's time to divide. So we bring on, yeah, you got it, the division property of equality. We're going to divide that negative 15 into both sides. Life is looking a little bit better there. Everybody says, yeah, I guess so. Because x now is by itself. That was what we were looking for. Over here, we've got a negative 15 divided by a negative 15. My friends, that's going to give us a positive 1. So the question is, first of all, did we make any mistakes? I hope not. The second thing, let's check and see if that answer is good, because that answer is good, and we're all right, okay? We've worked through quite a bit. I mean, we watched our parentheses real closely on the distributive. We took care of making sure that we subtracted 25 from both sides. We divided that negative 15, and we watched our rules. We watched our positives and negatives. That's why you want to learn those positives and negatives so, so precisely, all right, that you don't have to even think about it. You know exactly where to go. But let's see what happens. Speaking of going somewhere, Let's run it right down here. we got room at the bottom. So I've got 5 times 4 minus 2. And we're going to put a 1 in there. All right. That's going to make one nice big parenthesis. We can put a bracket around there and make it even better. 
There we go. We just got to figure out what that's going to give us, which I think everybody's looking at. Oh, I think I've got a good answer on that part. Now, we're going to subtract another little old bracket here, which is going to be 5 times 1 minus the 5. I don't need so many parentheses there. I'm just going to put the dot there. All right. And on the other side, we're going to hope that gives us 10 because nothing happened there until we decided to subtract 25. Now, my friends, notice what I did. I went back to the original. Don't jump in the middle of the problem and say, oh, it'd be a lot easier if we just started at negative 15x plus 25 equals 10. But you might have made a mistake getting there. So go back to the very, very first problem, to the first of the equation. The first equation, you've got the problem that you started with, all those good things. That's where we're going to go. This is going to give us 5 times, look, 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 that's 2 times 1, which is 2. 4 minus 2 will give you 2, so that's, what, that's basically what that little bracket did. Over here we have, we're going to subtract, it looks like, whew, another bracket. Oh, we've got to be careful on this one. 5 minus 5, take care of that. And then that's going to give us 10. Now the beauty of this thing is, notice 5 minus 5, everybody's already going, oh, that's 0. That's nice. This is 5 times 2, everybody's got, well, that's 10. So the question is, 10 minus 0, do you get 10? Ah, uh, certainly you do. So x equals 1, good answer. answer. And there, my friends, your problem of the day worked out for you.